Chapter 7, Felix. I could feel an overwhelming tension in the air. Calvin appeared to be the tallest guy with the dark hair. He approached Gary and crossed his arms. It's not my fault this is the only place in town to buy anything. He had beady eyes and a round nose. Well, you should have thought of that before you decided to cause trouble. Ashton got a little closer to me and whispered, Come this way. He put a light hand on my arm, trying to guide me away from the group. But Calvin stopped him by resting a heavy hand on Ashton's shoulder. Whoa. Who do we have here? No blood? Calvin stared at me hard in the eyes. Leave her alone. She wouldn't be interested in mixing with your kind. I wasn't sure what Calvin's kind was, but I could tell already that I didn't like him. Not one bit. He seemed very arrogant. You think she'd rather mix with your kind? Back off, Ashton said, standing in between us. Calvin took one hand and gave Ashton a small shove in the chest. Make me. I was about to pull one of my highly specialized maneuvers on the guy when Wolf interrupted my thoughts. Felix, don't. I couldn't reply to him in front of everyone, but I could tell Wolf still knew what I was thinking. Felix? No. I took a step towards Calvin, who just stared at me oddly. Felix, you're off task. Back down, or you're going to blow the whole mission and put our guy in danger. When I thought of it like that, I realized he was right. All right. What? Ashton, who is she? It's none of your business. Now leave. Buy your stuff in Loslin. Calvin ignored him. Maybe she'd like to grab a drink with me and my friends here. I could just feel the anger radiating off of Ashton and Gary. Heck, it was coming off of me too. I just glared at him. Calvin took a step closer, trying to look suave. You know, most women around here find me quite the cat. I heard Wolf make a humorous sound of disbelief. <laughs> Ashton, I think I'll take you up on that ride. Do you mind? N no. Not at all. Then he brought his attention back to Calvin and his friends. This is your last warning. Leave. Gary grinned and covered his mouth. Calvin furrowed his eyebrows. Calvin cracked his knuckles and stayed where he was, intense silence burning in the room around us. That's when Mr. Henderson stepped out of the office. Leave, the old man said, holding a baseball bat. Mr. Henderson sliced the bat through the air, making a sickening whine as the air was forced ahead of it. The threat made Calvin swallow. Come on. Let's go. That was awesome, Ashton said as he drove. I just smiled. I mean, that was really, really awesome. Those guys have been working us over for years. And between you and Mr. Henderson, those guys finally got some of the humiliation they've needed for a long, long time. Who are they anyways? They're a clan of guys who worked Gary and I over in high school. After we all graduated, they didn't want to leave us alone. They spray painted the front of the store a couple of weeks ago, and we banned them from coming back. I noticed that the paint job looked new. I guess that was one benefit of the incident. So, then you banned them from the only grocery store in town? Yeah, inconvenient for them. Ashton got an impish grin. I was able to avoid them for a while, back when I left for college. But Calvin and those guys didn't bother leaving town. So when I came back, they left off right where they started. There was a grim silence in the car for a moment. What did you study? Business management. I wasn't planning on coming back to this town when I was finished. But some things came up, and I ended up taking over my parents' grocery store. Your parents own the place? Yeah. Then they gave it to me. Which way do I go? We were approaching the end of Elm Way. Turn right here. Do your parents live here in town? Ashton was quiet for a moment as he turned. I couldn't tell whether it was because he was focusing on his driving or because of something else. Yes, they do. He must have been focusing on his driving. It must be nice to have them nearby. 
My house is the blue one up here on the left. Ashton stopped in front of my house and walked me up to the door. I didn't want to be rude, so I figured I should probably invite him inside. Thank you very much for the ride, I said as I unlocked the door. Do you want to come inside for a second? It's kind of messy since I just moved, but... No, that's alright. I have to get back to work. But I was gonna ask you. I waited for him to say something, but he didn't for a long time. I thought I could tell what he was starting to get at. Then he went in a completely different direction. What do you think of the shop? Uh, as a customer. He almost looked slightly disgusted and surprised with himself after he said it. It's a great store. I will definitely be coming back. What a wimp. I rolled my eyes at his added commentary. What is it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about how stupid Calvin and his friends are. <laughs> They better not come back or they'll have to deal with me. <laughs> okay, I better get going. See you later. Goodbye. I waited until he got to his car and waved goodbye as he drove off before going inside. <laughs>